What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Shutter Talk. Today we have Omar. What's your last name, by the way, bro? <laughs> it's it's Alali. Omar Alali. I just call you Omar on IG because that's your Instagram. Yeah, ba- basically, like, yeah. <laughs> we have Omar, photographer from Ottawa. Man, are you getting into video? Yes, actually. Really? Yes. Recently? Yes. 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 <laughs> Um, okay. Well, how about you quickly, just to get an idea for the people listening, quickly tell us a backstory. Like, where did you grow up? Uh, did you grow up in Ottawa or did you move to Ottawa at a young age? Uh, no, I moved to Ottawa like five years ago. Five years ago? Say. From where? Yeah. Uh, Kitchener, Waterloo. Kitchener, Waterloo. That's not that far. It's, uh, <laughs> it's like a five hour drive. <laughs> That's a, so you, did you live in Kitchener your whole life? Uh, no, actually. Um, I was kind of like all over the place i would say you yeah. know i was born i was born in saudi arabia and then i lived in palestine uh some lived some time in jordan and then i came to canada kitchener waterloo and then here so man bro you ch- you've always you've moved like, a lot what's it like yeah, to move so much it's, I, it must be hard to like make friends and stuff yeah you just kind of like <laughs> just get along with everybody right because yeah. You're, you're gonna... so used to like being around so many different people, so you're just like, I don't know. It's easy to adapt, I guess. Yeah. Well, no, hundred percent. You get used to it, and if you train it too, if you're moving like ever so often, then you get so used to to having to make friends quickly and then say, "Peace, I'm going to, I'm going to Ottawa." Yeah. <laughs> so how did yeah, you get yeah, into yeah. how did you get into photography though? Well, yeah. when did you get into photography? Um. When did I get into photography? I would say. 2018 do that bro you're fucking like two years wait 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 wait, you're fucking good (laughs) midway midway through the year because i um 2018 was like the worst and the best year for me yeah in a way a lot of ups and downs yeah i started out the year bad because i got an acl yeah i was playing uh soccer at carlton yeah and I just my my ACL just snapped, so Bro, I couldn't like. That oh must have hurt. Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's just like the worst pain ever. So basically, I was unable to walk for like a really long time. So when I kind of got back into like walking and stuff like that, I I picked up a bike. So I was like biking to like heal my knee better, faster. Yeah. And, you know, I'd bike all over Ottawa and I'd see, like, so many different views, like, beautiful spots. And I was, like, even, like, architecture, you know. And I'd be, like, like, I wish I had, like, a real camera, not my phone, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I kind of just bought the camera. Like, it was, I think it was, like, $300 on Kijiji. cheap, bro. You can get some cheap cameras. (laughs) Yeah, like, no, no, seriously. Because people are, like, Uh, fuck, they don't even care. They just want to get rid of it at that point. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So I, I kind of like bought it and I was just like playing around with it, you know, yeah. at the time because um, I used to get the Adobe package for free from school. Oh, bro, that's so blessed. So I remember when I, I used to like, get that. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I got to take advantage of this, you know, might as well since, you know. What, you used like Lightroom and Photoshop at that time then? You used to kind of practice with um, those stuff? Photoshop only. Really? I you started I never really in Photoshop? got into Lightroom. I never really got into Lightroom. Do you Lightroom. still just use? Do you use Lightroom now, or do you still use Photoshop? Zero percent. Really? N- I don't even open it. Bro, that's actually I respect that because you have a lot. Like that's hard. That's like people who use After Effects all the time instead of Premiere Pro. It's like it's just not meant for bulk workflow. After Effects. Oh, I see. What, you know what I, I mean? see what you're saying. Like it's a lot harder to manipulate like a lot of photos in Photoshop. Mm-hmm. No. Um, you know, for the first year and a half, yeah. that was, that was true. Yeah. But then I figured out a way to like, cause I was shooting so much to the point where like, I need to optimize, like I need to be efficient. I can't be like doing, doing a photo shoot for a client and then giving them 50 pictures and then having to like edit 50 different pictures, you yeah. know? So it kind of, I kind of figured out a way to do like, I, how do you do a it? Preset, how do you, like a preset, oh, okay. you know, we, we might have to do another episode for this <laughs> one, but I think I know what you mean um, though. You, you save pre, you can save presets on, 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 on Photoshop, right? It's basically like a preset, but it's not a preset. <laughs> you should make a I'll tutorial, t- I'll tell bro. You, I'll tell you, I'll tell you in person. I'll tell you in <laughs> okay. person. I'll, I'll, I'll send the message out, but 
Okay, so you, yeah. you were biking, you got a camera, and you just got into it. And when did when did the clients start coming in? When did, when did you decide um, to start doing actual client work? Basically, I started doing like landscape and like just architecture, I guess. Yeah. And then a friend of mine reached out um, on Instagram and they were trying to like uh, build a page where they were doing like uh, fashion stuff. And I kind of got started there. <laughs> and... Interesting way to get started. <laughs> Well, I was I was basically doing it for free, yeah. right? Oh, 100%. And it was kind of like um it was a way to like socialize with people rather than like Dude, you know, you make so many connections on the Instagram. I'm sure you know, but you meet so many, like that's yeah, how yeah, we yeah, met yeah. actually. And we talked about this when we met. It's like Yeah, that's you, Yeah, that's true. You would have never met this fucking guy. Like I would have never met you, never been doing this if I didn't meet yeah, you on exactly. Instagram. It's crazy. The yeah, yeah. Instagram is like connection like for gods. Like you can meet so many freaking people. And then so yeah, and then it just kind of went from there. Yeah, I guess that's basically it. And I kind of liked it, you know, because I was always into like drawing and painting yeah oh bro you're fucking crazy so, that's that's actually another thing bro you're extremely talented you're fucking man plays piano <laughs> you, man like draws like man bro <laughs> this guy's full on you, if you want to know what a creative is you are the definition bro <laughs> it, thank you bro but it, you know it just takes practice right? oh 100 percent. i just, agree with as you. long as as long as you're willing to put in that time yeah. and just like spend like moments alone with your whether it's a canvas or a piano yeah. or like your screen when you're editing yeah. is like oh yeah 100%. it's like i i get in my own zone and i just like time freezes in a way you know <laughs> Bro. so it's like the best the best of the both worlds me you know? like i literally when i was in france this last summer i started practicing guitar and like i i always thought yeah. like Bro, I can never play an instrument. Like, I'm trash. Now I'm actually, like, I can play a couple songs. Like, I can play, like, four or five yeah. songs, and it sounds pretty good. So, like, yeah, it's really, good. it's just practice. It's just practice. When did you start playing piano? Um, Three years ago. Yeah, okay. Three years ago. And it's crazy. Like, like people always think, like, you know, oh, it's going to take so long to get good. Like, three years. Oh, man. Like, it's a process. It is. There's never an end point, yeah. to be honest. Oh, yeah. No, no. But, like, to be comfortable with it, like... I think people underestimate the time. Like, three years is not that long. What is three years ago? Like, what well, the dab yeah. was a thing three years ago. Was it? When was and, it? <laughs> and I wasn't even playing consistently, you know? So it's, it's just like, if you have 10 minutes in your day, put in that 10 minutes, and then that 10 minutes times 365 is like times three years. It's... You do the math, yeah. but you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bro. I, so why did why did did you ever did you stop doing like uh, landscape and stuff like that? Why did why why did you like portraiture so much and why did you take that route? Because nobody it's pays the most you money for a picture you <laughs> yeah. took of the parliament, for example. It, it's hard. It, people can pay you, but it's hard. It's a lot harder. <laughs> Unless you use like um, I don't know different techniques in presenting yeah. that landscape. So like. I went to the, um, there's a market on Sundays in Lansdowne. Yeah. And they, they had this display of, um, I'm pretty sure it was photographs, but it was on like iron or like a metal sheet. Yeah, okay. So I was like, holy, like the detail on it is really cool. So like if you were to do a landscape and print it on an iron sheet yeah. and then frame that, you could probably sell that as part of like an art form, right? Yeah. So, but it's so much harder to do that than... It's just like people like being the center live, of attention. Yeah. And also like at that point when you're doing portraiture, you're going like directly to the consumer. You know what I mean? Like, Yeah, it's exactly. Like, it's B to, it really is it's B to B. It's not B to C. It's like business to business because that fashion model usually like depends on how high class. But yeah. that fashion model is the thing. And also mm -hmm. like one thing is it's a lot easier to tell a story in portraiture than in, uh, in landscapes. You know what I mean? In like photography, yeah. like... Landscapes yeah, are yeah. usually just like, oh, that's that's a nice ass photo. But you know, sometimes you can mm -hmm. mend a little story into portraiture. But um, yeah, did did I saw you? I one shot I saw recently was a studio shot of you of yours. It was like a, a silhouette shot of someone jumping. A silhouette. Someone jumping and like they had their arm in the air. Oh, and like oh, was oh, that a studio? Oh. No, no, actually, that was uh, in Toronto. What the f Dude, that was crazy. But do you do shoot? Do you shoot studio ever? Any any time? Um. Yeah. Mostly. Mostly like. Um. 
Like just nature, right? Studio when it's a it's a client nature. Like do you shoot studio or most of the time yes. it's like nat- like just out in the middle of nowhere or not middle of nowhere but um it depends on the client yeah, okay. really. Which one do you like more though? <laughs> oh, I like I like being outside. Really? Even in the winter? Yeah. <laughs> Not so much in the winter. No. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny because a lot of people tell me, a lot of people tell me they like studio a lot more because they have a lot more flexibility. But I guess you like that kind of like you kind of have to work with the environment, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. Well, it's like when we were on our shoot, we had no idea what we were doing, but we we figured it out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, set up that light over there. Set up that light over there. <laughs> Let me see what this Dude, looks like. Thing. Like, oh, I don't even know if that works. Okay. I'm not even kidding though. The final photo, the final photo I took, like, was like three percent of what we took. I took like, oh I got God. you were gone out of the yeah. photo. The stars, like, the sky was gone. I like. I, I, I copied over yeah. the thing. It was crazy. Um, but you kind of used it as a reference, but it still it still yeah. worked. The how way, do you feel about how do you feel about it. a lot of photoshopping in your photos? Do you think it's fine? Because there's that huge thing where people are like, "Oh, it's not uh, a real photo if it's photoshopped." It, honestly, it depends on the on the on the photo. <laughs> a lot of things depend on the photo. I I agree with you though. But uh, we're gonna move on here. Do you have any tips? Or I'd like to know because I don't do a lot of portraiture. How do you go about posing? Uh, how do you go about posing your models? You can turn your your thing sideways if it's easier. Yeah, I'm just plugging in my phone. Haha, <laughs> it's almost dead. <laughs> Dude, everything in your house is uh, almost dead, bro. You gotta charge your stuff. <laughs> I know. It's cause I was out, so yeah. like I was using it. You Fair know? enough. Um, but how do you how do you go ahead and pose your models? Cause I I bro, I'm the worst at that. I cannot do portraiture because mm. I'm the worst at posing. So where did you learn that? Okay, so where how do I pose my models? Or where did you learn to to pose your models? Where do I start? I guess I would start by talking to them. Okay. <laughs> and then simple enough. <laughs> so like when you're talking to somebody, you're most likely to get a reaction or some sort of face expression. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so I know what you mean. So, like when you're when you're actually and shooting. Mhm. And then you just kind of have to be ready, I yeah. guess. To because it, all it takes is like one second, yeah, okay. right? So you just kind of like talk to them like about, you know, what, what do you talk to them about when you're shooting? Mm, well, let's see. Viewfind, let's start with the viewfinder, like in terms of like composition, okay. like negative and positive space. Yeah. Like if, if I'm shooting from a low angle and the sky is behind you, how much of the sky do I want in the picture yeah. or yeah. like... Where should the movement of your like hands be yeah. in the frame? Like, you yeah. know, I'm eating. Uh, <laughs> I can, I can see you eating an orange. <laughs> no, but what, what do you do? You talk. You talk to the model is what you said when you when you're shooting to kind of make them comfortable. What do you talk? Yeah, that kind of helps. What do you talk to them about? And you know, just make them comfortable. Like, how was your day? Like, what do you do? Like, if I've never met yeah, them, okay. like, like who are you basically? Do you get like a little you know, mouth like, movement sometimes though? Like. Do you tell them like, oh, we're shooting now, shut up? Or do you just kind of shoot in between? Or it depends. Yeah, you shoot. Yeah, I guess you shoot in yeah, between. Yeah, fair enough. But the, the talking, I guess, is just like to make them feel comfortable yeah. because, I don't know, the second somebody feels uncomfortable, like the shoot is basically yeah. done. I'm telling you, like, all it takes is like one one moment of the model being like oh i'm not comfortable yeah. but do you have a do you have like but i never like i never have to go through that yeah. so i i don't you know you seem like you probably make the people pretty comfortable you just have to be a nice person if anyone's listening to this just be a nice person and, and you'll be fine <laughs> i guess you just have to improvise and then like you kind of have to like direct yeah. them like let's say like the light is coming a certain way or like you know their their chin like shoulder posture how do you come up you with know? these poses like do you have them just like memorized in your brain you just know what looks good i guess from practice um i would say work having worked with like actual models because yeah. like not all of my not every shoot i do is free yeah i kind of i kind of started out doing um just to build my portfolio yeah, right spec work is what they call and it. yeah and i was lucky enough to like have work with models and you kind of because they know what they're doing right right and then from that you're just like oh okay 
you did this, you did that. Now, if you shoot with a client that has no idea what they're doing, yeah. you can kind of use the experience you got from shooting a model Dude, that's really and cool. kind of implement that into the client. Because yeah. most, of, most of the real paid photographers, like gigs, you're not really working with anybody who knows what they're doing. Yeah. So you have to like make sure you explain to them what's happening and like... Yeah. Well, that's the stress. Like when you're shooting like a model, like I feel like the photographer does minimal work in... You do those slight readjustments, right? But they, they're fucking... You're just snapping pics at that point. You're just making sure you got your focus, you know, maybe composition and everything. But like as far as posing goes, they know what they're doing. Yeah. So it's good to actually bring that back to people who don't know what they're fucking doing, which is <clears throat> the majority probably of, you know... People who want shoots, you know, for their Instagram or wherever they're gonna fucking post the photos, so you can kind of direct them as far as that goes. But that's really good. I've heard, I've even heard people like yeah. go on Instagram and save poses. Do you ever do that? Like, actually, yeah, I've done that for a few. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually very helpful. And then when you're coming across, like, whether you want to explain to somebody how to do the pose, yeah. you know, you just show them, be like. Yeah. Just recreate this thing. It's right good to here, have that right? visual representation. Yeah. Um, <laughs> actually, I I remember doing that with uh, Courtney. There was a picture of on my Instagram. She was just like doing this weird hand thingy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I literally just went on Instagram, saved posts, and I was like, just do exactly this, you know? <laughs> Dude, I tried doing and one of those. It when worked I was out. In so, Came out so bad. <laughs> I wish I had my phone with me because it was like, it was the most awkward thing. Like this girl just had her hand like at the camera and I was like, bro, like this looks stupid. It looks like she's like trying to take a selfie or something, but her hand. You know what? Far. This is, this is when you come in and be like, don't worry. This is going to look great. Just bear with me and let me get my vision out and you'll see. Yeah. And that's why it's so important to like, for example, to show your client or your model what you're taking like in the spot. So it'd be like. This is what you look like right now, yeah. you know? Oh, so you show them the photos as you're taking them kind of thing to help. Oh, absolutely. Help absolutely. Yeah. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 I've heard some people just like, just shoot like the, the novices. They just go out, they shoot like, okay, shoot's done. I've even actually a tip that might, I don't know if you know, you do this, but when you're done shooting for a client, do you ever send yeah. them the photos so they decide which ones look good or do you decide what looks good? Okay, so from my experience, you're going to get criticized all the time, yeah. you know? Yeah. I've, I've always gotten criticized because, like, you have a certain style, right? Yeah, of course. I mean, I mean, people reach out to you because you have a certain style, so I don't know why they criticize you in the first place. Yeah. But um, I started leaning towards actually showing um, the pictures of the shoot as I go, yeah. and I'll have them like write down the numbers of the photos because this way it's better for me. It saves me time. I don't have to go through everything all over again. Yeah. And I have like a list ready and I'll just put them in Photoshop and edit it. And that's yeah. it. Well, that's the, that's the regardless, regardless whether I think it's good or not, they like it, they chose it and they're happy yeah. with it and everyone, so. everyone has their own perspective too like what i think looks good you might think looks complete garbage and ugly and that's like who's the person who's paying for it in the end should decide so that's a really good tip and that's really sick so bro i have never asked this question before but what is the coolest photoshop photo shoot <laughs> concept you've ever done or you could say like your favorite photo shoot you've ever done do you have a story of um, um and and how also actually no answer that first and i'll hit you with a follow-up question I have to think. Actually, let me just go to my profile real quick. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I'm sure you've done so. Uh, Ours was pretty cool, bro. Yes. What the hell? <laughs> that was actually the first time I'd done something like that. Well, what, you want to tell the people who are listening what it was like? Do you remember? So we basically tried to... Oh, my God. My camera just, just leave it. So we basically tried to mimic... You could turn sideways. Um, yeah, it's good. It's good. Unless it's better. Okay, so we try to do this concept where um, we'd have a subject in front of a train. And a then train. it would seem like the train is coming right behind you. Yeah. Right in the middle of the night. And it's, it's literally shining the light on you. It's like a second before a train hits. Yeah. 
and then with the background you can see all the stars yeah. and then you can see like the leading lines of the train tracks yeah. leading towards really the light it was kind of cool yeah 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 it was it was it was literal literal art like well that's the thing about like going because the way i found this was on the explore page and that's the thing about like going to the explore page to kind of you know find different photo shoots and then try them in, like, you learn different things i learned a couple of things in photoshop that i didn't know how to do before uh like i i one thing i did was like i did a lot of masking so i got better at masking when i was doing that i did a lot of I did like I took one of the sides and then I duplicated it so it was symmetrical, completely symmetrical, and that's something mm -hmm. I never do in Photoshop. So being able to go to Instagram, find the explore page, find a photo that you like, and try to re recreate it or recreate something similar to it can be mm -hmm. really, really effective. Um, how do you come up with your photo shoot ideas, bro? Is a client like come to you and say, "I want to shoot here, here, here," or um, do you have to find locations? You know. How do I come up? Most of the time, I'm not going to lie, I improvise. I think Which we all do, like, bro. <laughs> not to be ashamed of. A really of. good thing to do, you know? <laughs> but um, usually people have ideas for me unless, like, when it's a client, people usually give you the idea and you kind of have to, like, come up with a scenario or an idea or a concept that will match theirs okay, well, and, like, kind of, like, merge the two together. Yeah. Or, um, what's their ideas like? Like, what did they just say? Like, I want this. Like, I'm gonna be wearing this. What, what, what would they say? What's an example? Um, so most of, most of the people I worked with was for like a fashion, whether it's a fashion, yeah, or um, so it's basically the kind of the choice of the outfit, okay. I would say, and then you kind of match the location to the outfit, so yeah, so exactly. So I would be like, what color is it, you know? Yeah. And if it like let's for example let's say it's red, yeah. I'm not gonna go shoot in front of like a Flowers. a brick house, yeah, okay, a yeah. brick house. So like red on red, you yeah. know, like it doesn't work. Clashes. I'll try to go like maybe white, black, you know, maybe go a little bit warm, maybe yellow, orange. Yeah, yeah. color, color, like, color. I don't know stuff like theory. that. No, hundred percent. That makes sense, and that's yeah, because really cool. like, I mean, we all look for light and color when yeah. we're shooting. Yeah. Well, at least I do. Like, light is the most important thing. And then the color also. Do you ever cancel because the light's bad? In. Well, uh, or do you just no, deal with not it? really. Because I have an off-camera flash now, which is like a lifesaver. How, how, how is that? Because I've never like, used it oh, myself. Oh, man. It's, it's a game changer. Do you use it outside? Sure. Outside and inside, yeah. You can, you can use it both inside and outside. Yeah. Bro, that's crazy. But it's a it's a game changer. I would honestly recommend any photographer to get an off camera flash because yeah. it takes your game from like here to here. Yeah. And like, you, you know, I know you can manipulate light in Photoshop, but it's really not the same in in creating like. Agreed. We're, we're saving a lot of time editing by just adding a light yeah. and just getting like reflectors and things like that. Like literally just. Yeah. Like you're in harsh sunlight, you can take good photos because you just stick the reflector over. It'll diffuse that light completely, and your model's face looks like literally beautiful. Yeah. Like just yeah. and, and they're not like the deflector is like what twenty dollars. Yeah. People not even. It's so cheap, and like they roll up super short. But like literally, mm. just being able to manipulate and control light, especially like with flash, is yeah. huge because you can do like anything you want. The the only thing with that though is when you when you don't have a helper. And you're doing that okay. by yourself. Yeah. You're like doing all this, like holding it with one hand. Like oh, you bring a stand, other. bro. Just bring a little stand. You don't have a stand. Like, you got to buy yourself a stand. I, I, yeah, I got to buy myself a stand. <laughs> you're holding the that, that shit was... <laughs> Bro, that's a struggle. Uh, as far as locations go, do you just like have a built up memory in your loca like of locations? Do you ever shoot at the same location twice? I have. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's fine. How do, you, how, I mean, how do you come up with locations? Do you just like kind of go on Google Maps? Uh, no, never Google Maps. <laughs> what do you got to get Even Google Maps, bro? Because like, I don't know how accurate it is. Okay. Like, I don't know if something's changed, you know. I don't know. How do you come up but, with your stuff? How would you um, say? I guess whenever, whenever, whenever you go downtown, you, you, you can't go wrong. There's always <laughs> something to shoot downtown. Fair so like... <laughs> Meet me downtown. We'll figure it out then. Are you? In yeah, basically. Are you in school right now? Yeah, I am. How do you? How do you? How do you balance that school and photography? Well, what are you in school for? 
Um, I'm studying. I'm studying architecture. Architecture. Architectural technology. Yeah, okay, I remember you told me about this. How do you balance yeah. that? Um, well, photography is just a hobby, right? It's just kind of on the side. Yeah, it started as a hobby. Um, I was I was working and doing school and doing photography, oh, but. Shit. Yeah, but right now I I think I quit my job last year. Last year, okay. Has it been your main and source then, of income then? I guess. And then photography was just my part time. Is it good? At least with school, it's it's not bad. Yeah. It's it's basically like a part time job, yeah. well, if not better, because I'm making my own hours, and you know I don't have to work for somebody how else. How often are you? And, how often are you shooting then? To to you can just shoot when you want then, right? Because you don't really have much bills or anything to pay. I don't know your so life. So like but. what you would do, <laughs> I I usually like to like, let's say. A month take like a month time period okay because that's like when every bill is due yeah. so like um so you basically cut that in half and then you schedule all of your shoots on those two halves so whoever asks you for a shoot you say i'm busy until the next friday or the next saturday okay. and then you would have by the end of the two weeks maybe one or two okay clients and then this way you you would get them done in the same day rather than you know oh, okay so you don't you don't you book far in advance all in one day or like you bulk kind of you bulk shoot within a weekend within a, within weekend. a weekend okay so like you go out like you know you say oh my next available date is uh, sunday to one client yeah and the next available date is sunday you say sunday for everyone and then you go do it all on sunday saturday sunday yeah either either day because yeah I guess, yeah. <laughs> Whatever works with my schedule. Okay. I guess I guess it's very flexible, but that's a good tip though. Bulk shooting all your because also like if you're shooting all on Sunday, you have like three clients on Sunday. You're in the zone by the third client, so it's really exactly you know, you're really just banging. But it up. but if you're gonna do that, buy an extra two packs of batteries. Because yeah, oh, 100 percent. I have like three, four batteries. What do you shoot on right now, Sony? Uh, no, Nikon. Is it DSLR or mirrorless? No DSLR. Okay. So you at least you have a you have you don't have a mirrorless battery. Do you know what I'm shooting on? I'm shooting at that three hundred dollar camera I told You're you. You're still about. shooting on that. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's it. People go check out his Instagram right now and realize that it's not about the gear because this guy's shooting bangers and he's shooting on. But this I really TV. wanted to upgrade. Thank. You. In the beginning, I was just like kind of shooting from my imagination. Okay. And like manipulating, like if you go to my page and scroll all the way down to the bottom. You're going to see like the dark area. <laughs> it was just like a bunch of like I went to the war museum yeah. and I was just taking like pictures and I was manipulating like the the color of the sky. Yeah. Like I was making it unrealistic. Yeah. Like there is no like orange or purple sky, you know. Yeah. But like to me it just looked cool, you know, yeah. but after a while you you've learned commands in Photoshop. Yeah. You've learned how to do stuff in Photoshop. Yeah. So that kind of builds up. And then you're like, when you're in the moment and you see something, you're like, oh, I know exactly how this is going to look after I Photoshop it. Yeah. You know, it's like training, it's practice. You get, you get, yeah, you yeah, yeah. how to do it. 100%. But there, and then I guess, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Was there, there yeah. was, so I guess, I don't know if I, I, I don't know if I answered your question. No, but. no, no, no. It's a, it's a good answer. I just, I'm just like curious, like, cause it seems like you didn't really ever. Because a lot of people, like, learn, like, through, like, these big, you know, influences, like, Peter McKinnon, Maddie, um, who else? Brandon Wolf, well, all the I YouTube videos. And Peter McKinnon does um, video? He does photo, too. I'm just talking about, like, in general, oh. like, photographers. Oh, people... Jessica, Jessica Kobesi? Yeah, I know, I know who you're talking about. I don't know her, her exact name. But, like, I guess, yeah, how did like you, that. how did, my question would be, how did you learn? Like, what, did you just kind of practice on your own, or did you watch YouTube videos? Okay, and I think the best way to learn is to, um, and that's just, like, for me. Yeah. Like, people learn, people learn in many different ways. Yeah. But, for me, it's, just go um, shoot. it's kind of, like, mimicking. So, like, let's, let's, let's say I see something I like, and I go and replicate it. Sounds good. Now, it's not mine, it's not my original idea, yeah. but for me to get to that level taught me a lot more than you think. Yeah. So, 
it's not necessarily my idea or I'm, it's original like that. But to any artist out there, I think it's best to like, you basically, as an artist, you see like taking a hundred artists, so a hundred photographers, yeah. and take a single element that you like from each, yeah. and then make it your own. And then eventually, you'd have like a hundred different things and it just it doesn't it's not their style yeah. because you've accumulated so many different ideas and so many different concepts yeah. that eventually becomes your own yeah but well, it's just basically looking at pictures and being like how did you do that or yeah. like how could i possibly do that you know so you learn through you know seeing something you like and trying to recreate it which is a 100 percent a way i learned too it's just like because I'm hands on, like hands on, like hands on guy. Yeah, you literally answered my next question was gonna be how did you develop your style, <laughs> <Yeah>. but <laughs> my guy is literally psychic, bro. He knew what I was about to answer. Ask you. It's the vitamin C, bro. It's the vitamin C. Everyone eat your vitamin C. You get psychic powers, like Omar. <laughs> okay, bro. Do you have any? Do you have a? Do you have a funniest shoot you've ever done? Have you ever done some stupid, silly shit? Some um, or, hey, actually yes. Some funny stories. Yes. Do you have any funny my stories? My homeboys, my homeboys from Kitchen and Waterloo. They came over. The first ever music video. <laughs> Hilarious. Did you shoot it? <laughs> yes, I did. Really? Wait, when was it recently then? <laughs> oh no, it was like it was like around the time I started. It was like a year ago. Oh okay. I never, I never posted or anything. Bro, I just sent it link. to them. You know. <laughs> Did you ever watch? Uh, Did you ever watch? Like, was it good? What's funny about it is like when you're watching like music videos on YouTube and stuff like that, you're just like, oh, this is nice. The way the camera moves, like the way things are coming in and out. Yeah. But when you're actually doing it, yeah. it's kind of funny because like you're doing random shit <laughs> and you're like. <laughs> you're just being kind of stupid you know you're turning up and you're just like behind the camera making sure the focus trying to get yeah. there and everybody's just like <laughs> dude literally i've i've, I've no exp and no experience was the funniest thing i had to witness because i wasn't sure how it actually happened i just kind of went there and be like yo let's make a music video i'll just take the footage put it together and see how it looks how did you edit but that on imovie Oh no, Premiere Pro. Premier Pro. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's funny, bro. You got. Can, you know what? Can you I'm actually send gonna me the send link? you the link. I'm gonna send you the link. I, wanna, I promise. I promise. I I'll send you this, the link. Cause I got. I've been doing music videos for the last like two years, on and off kind of thing. I started a music video company with my friends, so I know exactly what you're talking about. People jumping mm. around. You know, it's not as easy as it yeah. looks. People think it's easy, but it's not as easy as it looks. And having like mm. a good quality music video that flows all together, it's, it's mm -hmm. a tough task. It's a tough task. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. What? Yeah, yeah. It's good. I, I got into video and So how is video? I really I so really far? like it. I really I really like it. What kind of videos are you making? So I started doing um I was actually lucky enough to work um, as a graphic designer for HealthBrain, okay. HealthBrain.ca, yeah. uh, .co, sorry, <laughs> HealthBrain.co, okay. and I was kind of making videos for them. Okay. Uh, they were working on a on a course for uh, to promote health and nutrition and like lifestyle and you know certain workouts, certain things like that. Yeah. So, I did that for a year. And I was basically their their videographer and photographer for that year. Yeah. And I learned a lot just from doing that. For, from so, working for them. Yeah. So I wanted to take that experience and actually do something where it's more for me, not for them. Yeah. So like, I don't want to do a video about this. I want to do a video about, you know, a certain concept. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then you just kind of started... What was, how, what was the last time you made a video? What was the most recent video you made? Um, I actually did a, an edit. I didn't take the video. An yeah, edit for did. somebody. I can't talk about it because okay. it's in April. Because no no it's in it's it's not until April, okay. so it can't be released till April. So I can't really say anything. Yeah. But it was basically it was basically to promote um, a fashion show. Okay. Um, this girl, her name, her name's Claire. She's ho she's hosting a fashion show, and I kind of put the clip together just to promote that fashion show and to get people to see what it, 
what it is or something like that. So no, bro, I'm I'm excited to see what 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 video will will will. How do you like it so far? How does it compare to to photo? Do you see yourself going all into video, or do you um, are you 100 percent gonna? It's a lot more of a workflow, in, in my opinion. Yeah, like, it's you gotta. It's it's a lot more work for one piece yeah, of content compared to photography, yeah, where you get 50 photos. Yeah, yeah. Even the editing and the color grading and putting the exact frames in the exact spot that you want, and like just getting that 0.2 second off difference, yeah. like makes a big that transition. Like everything yeah. is just like. It's a challenge, but it's, I think it's fun. Oh, and yeah. there's so much yeah, more yeah. you can do with it, too. There's so much more, like, you know, it's so much more dynamic. Like, when you're watching a video that's well done, like, you're just in it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, watching yeah. a movie, I'm just, I'm like... You know, a lot of people, though, a lot of people don't think, like, oh, there was so much work behind this video. Yeah. They just watch a video, and they just enjoy it, and they're just, just like, they don't know how much yeah. work that took yeah. to get to where you're seeing yeah. right now. But, like... You know, the things that people don't notice or like are the little adjustments, those are the things that matter. Because in the end, like you don't want people noticing anything bad about it, right? You don't want people noticing. You want people just watching it and it just flows super smoothly. If you know what I mean. The one thing, the one thing that kind of gets repetitive is when you're watching a clip over and over. (laughs) And the audio, <laughs> audio, and he's just like, oh, I've memorized every letter, <laughs> like every sentence. Dude, never <laughs> edit a video to a song you enjoy because it ruins the song. It will you. ruin it. Yeah, it will definitely ruin it. It's just like you. Ugh, I can't even talk. Did you shoot? Have you yeah, shot in the funny. winter yet this this year? Yeah, I did. I actually did a shoot last weekend. Yeah. How how is it shooting in the um, winter? And do you have any tips for people for shooting in the winter? Because I'm sure you've over the years. Over the two I years. know you might think the snow look picture looks cool, yeah. but it's way too cold out there. <laughs> and it's definitely not worth it unless you're like, I don't know. That's just my opinion. Eskimo. When it's like freezing, freezing rain yeah. and like the trees have like the crystals, you know, maybe at night when there's like a light hitting that. Yeah. Maybe something like that. I don't know. Omar's but... tip is stay inside, everyone. Fuck winter. <laughs> and get an external flashlight. Get an external flashlight. Okay. Three rapid... Not rapid fire, but the three last questions before we wrap it up, bro. Number one is what... A, what well, you already told me, but how about you say it again? What camera are you shooting on right now? What's your gear setup look um, like right now? Uh, do you want me to pull, you it, pull out it out right if now? You, want. you don't have to pull it out. You can just tell uh, me. Damn. <laughs> you can just I tell might, me. I might just have to, bro. Okay, pull out flex flex the Nikon. Nah, you know Third. what? If you can keep track, I have um, not that many things. I just have four lenses for a Nikon D fifty one hundred. I have three hundred dollars, people. <laughs> yes, invest in the lens, not the camera. Invest in the lens. I, I can't. Like that's the most important thing. You don't have to upgrade your camera, people. My so. camera is 16 megapixel. It's so. still good enough, bro. Instagram posting like two megapixel pictures. Why do you need this 30 megapixel photo? Hey, unless you're doing like a commercial billboard, when yeah. you have to print like a yeah. really, you don't need that. Which 100, percent I know everyone listen to this. You ain't doing no commercial <laughs> billboard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, bro. Uh, um, oh, wait. What was so, your lenses? <laughs> Uh, stock, so 18 to 55, I think everybody has that. Yeah, um, well, I sold mine, but yeah. <laughs> ten, oh, there you go. Well, it, it's useless. I yeah, barely yeah. use it. Yeah. Um, that's why it's a kit lens. Yeah. Because, you know. It's good to get started it with, but once but you no, upgrade. No, it's good. I'm not hating, but I'm, I I never use it. Yeah, is what once I'm, you get that, is what that second lens, you never go back to the first lens. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Move on, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... I have a 10 to 20 yeah. uh, wide angle uh, and I have a 50 mil, which is my favorite, like absolutely my favorite, Amazing. the one I use all the time. Yeah. I want to get a 35 and I have a 55 to 300 for like, Shit. which is, it's really nice. It's really yeah. nice. Yeah. What's it like shooting at 300? Have you ever shot at 300? I, I took a picture of the moon. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> That's it. It was it was nice. Maybe okay. I can send it to you. You can put it in the whatever. In I don't the video. know. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll throw it up if you want to send it to me. If it's not I'll, too much I'll, I'll give you a picture of the moon. 
and send me the link to the music that video. would be like the 300 millimeter yeah yeah okay and um, it's not photoshopped let me just say that i didn't just photoshop a moon in my picture it's the actual moon it's the actual moon even if you just photoshop guys it's the actual <laughs> moon what's your dream camera setup do you have your eye on something you want to upgrade to in the near future um or are you I not really, really the gearhead kind of guy i i i really wanted to get a sony Okay. Upgrade to mirrorless. Yeah, because uh, well, there's a lot of reasons, you know. Yeah. But oh, mirrorless is crazy. I also crazy think right now. if I switch to video and still do photography, that would be like the perfect camera for doing both. I guess. Yeah. The struggle with Nikon, I think, is that their video side is just not great, right? It's Absolutely just, terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me. We'll see me, in the right? music video. <laughs> yeah you will trust me okay it's so okay. bad <laughs> bro as we wrap this up do you want to let people know what your future plan is in the near future do you have any big announcements to make or you just kind of um, chilling <laughs> you know i i want to well i'm graduating this year so congratulations um, if you graduate thank you. i'm sure you will i'm sure you will <laughs> thank you th oh no yeah i will i will knock on wood <laughs> Um, so graduating, um, I want to get into the video industry and do more video for sure. And, yeah, um, th I have to mention, I've been working with, um, Ari, he's, uh, we're part of the creators collectives. Oh, um, actually, I saw one of your videos. It was like four photographers shoot the same model. It was a sick, yeah. model, sick video. Yeah. And we Ari's have, pretty we big have, guy, eh? <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of things planned for the year okay. for the creators collective. So we're just kind of like working on that right now. And um, I'm really excited to show people that because it's, it's even, even though I shoot and people don't see my work because it's client work, yeah. I still like to go and do a creative Fun. shoot with somebody else. And you know, you, you'll, you'll never stop learning. Yeah. Like no matter what you do, you're not gonna get to a point where you're just like, okay, I'm done. I know everything. Like I don't even need to, no, 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 that doesn't work. So like, it's good for me to like, cause client work is boring. So for me to show my followers or people who like, you know, like the content I produce, I don't want to show them work I've done for a client. It's boring. They're going to be like, bah, like next, yeah. you know? Yeah. So I, I'm really excited to go and do this, you know, work on the projects. And this year is going to be really good for me and Guys. for the creators collective and everybody else. And also I just want to point out a few good photographers in Ottawa, oh. you being one of them. Oh, what? <laughs> Bro, thank you. Dude, <laughs> honestly, your your video is amazing. I'll, I'll say I, I'll say right now, thank I I appreciate that. I'm I'm thinking of going more into video cuz I do like video a lot more. So I don't know how much more yeah. photography you'll be seeing. And from to be me, honest, but... you're you're really good at it. And if if this will help you like encourage you. you to to put more effort into the video, I would do so because like I've seen your work and it's it's pretty good, especially with those with the dance crew ones. <laughs> yeah. Six one three hit us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want to come dope. to a shoot with them, bro? It's fun dope, time. Dope. They're actually dope. funny guys too. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm down. I'm in. Dude, we can set it up, man. And see how you do with the video, you know. See how you work with the video, and stuff like that. Anyone and, else you want to shout out? Yeah, um, Frank. You know, I've I haven't really worked with him. Never met him. That, but he's sick. Yeah, yeah, but the, the consistency and the style, like his color grading, like his concepts are, you know, I I'm I'm a big fan. Um, Ace used to do a lot of stuff with the photography landscape. Um, I, I don't see him post that much because I guess he moved towards other stuff. I'm not yeah. I think not he does exactly a lot of portrait sure. now. I'm not 100% sure, but he seems like yeah. he's all over. He's got I haven't the actually, thing down. Yeah, I haven't done an actual shoot with them, but like just from seeing their work and like how consistent they're working on this, like you know they're, they're, they're in it because they like it, which is good because it it's like oh wow this inspires me you know like people are putting stuff like even you you're posting like so often i'm just like 
I can't even keep up, you know? It's just like... Well, bro, you're in school. Like, I'm not in school. I got... This is all I fucking do all my, my whole time. Everybody is, like, creating this beautiful content. I'm just like, holy, I can't even keep up, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's... Okay, bro. Um, Amici is good. I've worked with Amici on a music video. You did an interview with him, actually. Yeah. Amici's great, bro. He's a, yeah, he, yeah. He, he, seem, he seems like he has the same mentality as you with like, mm-hmm. oh, you're always fucking learning. You're always just like, you just got to keep practicing and that's how you yeah. get there. Amazing and, guy. And um, Michael Dupe, his, his editing, his uh, pictures are amazing. Michael um, who? Dupe, Dupe. Dot png i think i know who you're talking about but i'm not 100 percent sure dupe dot png yeah he okay, does bro. his his work is amazing i have to shout out two more people okay humayun humayun and ari respect so are these creative I think that's, collective i think yeah yeah i think that's my list right there yeah and i think you guys should check them out because yeah. support you know, your local you're creators Support our local creators. We're just striving artists out here, bro. Or struggling exactly, artists. Man. Exactly. <laughs> okay, do you want to plug yourself real quick? Let the people know where do, they can follow you. Do I want to what? Plug yourself. Let the people know where they can follow you. Um, you can find me on Instagram. Check them out. Um, it's literally my name on IG. Omar, Omar on IG. Exactly. Anything else? A lot of people... Do you have a website? Um, actually don't which is a really sad part dude I they're not that cheap for about it. they're like 15 bucks a month so i'm not blaming you and a lot of people go on instagram now to see people's portfolio so it's not that bad yeah i mean it's i still need one i just haven't had time to like because i want it to look if i do do one i want it to look a certain way i want it to function a certain way so fair enough Okay, no guys, thank you for listening to Shutter Talk. I hope you had fun on the podcast. Thank you for having me on this. It's <laughs> I, been a pleasure. I hope I didn't bother you too much, bro. Um, <laughs> okay, guys, and anything you want to say? No, <laughs> no just uh, I'll give you a shout out. You know, Dax Brule, follow him. You know, check out his work. He's always doing work. Dude, You'll I- never see this guy not doing anything. He's <laughs> always doing something. I feel so high. Um, and you learn so much. And I really love the, the little clips you do on uh, like tips on photography. I think it was TikTok yeah, or something TikTok. like that. I'm not, I'm not sure. TikTok, right. But yeah, it was like informative photography slash comedy. Dude, I feel slash- so blessed right <laughs> now. I'm getting like fucking juiced up hard. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. You deserve it. Every creative needs like... To be acknowledged and, you know, because it takes a lot of time and dedication. And I think it's important that, you know, people support, you know, the local and because we're making our own city's name, you know, if somebody else is looking from the outside in, you know, it's it's a community, really. So thank you for listening to Shire Talk. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode and we'll see you in the next one.